Sorry about the World Cup. Australia's soccer team spoken out against the uh, abuses against migrant workers, the LGBTQ community there. Do you think we need to say something before going to the World Cup in a country that has these oppressive practices? Well, obviously I'm a huge fan of any time an athlete uses their position and their platform for, for social change and for positivity. So I'm, I'm proud to see that the, uh, the Australian team has, set, has stepped up. But I also say that uh, you know, an athlete stepping up and using their, their privilege and their platform like that is always a choice. And uh, I don't necessarily think it's an athlete's obligation to do that. Um, but as a government, uh, we're certainly having those conversations. Um, there's no question that you know, countries around the world are, are being asked to host uh, sporting events in, in places where we'd uh, prefer they'd be in other places. But uh, so, yeah. I mean, you're an MP and you're an athlete. Uh, what do you think about Qatar? I don't have uh, enough of a background on, uh, on Qatar. I understand there are some serious concerns about human rights uh, offenses that go on there, but to be honest, I'm no expert, so. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Mr. Chong, I just want to ask you about uh, human rights in Qatar. The Australian soccer team has spoken out now against holding the World Cup there, the migrant worker uh, issue there, uh, treatment of the LGBTQ community. Is it time Canada's soccer team and the government spoke out against Qatar? Well, we believe that uh, one of the things we can be doing in respect of human rights violations it, coming from autocracies around the world is to ensure that Canadian oil and gas is made more readily available to democracies, uh, both here and abroad. The fact of the matter is that Qatari gas is being imported into Europe as we speak in ever increasing amounts because the current government has refused to come to the assistance of our ally Germany to provide that gas. We recently had the visit by uh, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz who came in August who pleaded with the government to provide more LNG to Europe that is desperate to replace Russian gas with other uh, countries gas and so instead of uh, instead of working with our ally to provide that gas uh, the government essentially said no and the German Chancellor went away empty-headed and, and as a result uh, Germany has had to rely on increased gas export imports from places like Qatar. So, but, but just you know the world's about to have a big party there and this country has mistreated migrant workers and the LGBTQ community. Uh, you know should we abstain from sending our soccer team there? Well I think the one thing we should be doing is supporting an initiative that's being led by some European countries to co-host the next World Cup uh, between Ukraine and a European democracy, and that's the position we support. Thank you very much.